<laughs> Hi children, yes, it's Truffle's toy time and let's see what she has this week. Wow, look at this. It's wrapped like a big blue sweet. Isn't it exciting? Oh, Truffle, look. What do we have here? Oh, it's raining. I don't think I'm quite dressed for this rain, do you, children? Look, what's this, Truffle? Wow, it looks like a big sweet. Let's get into it. Oh, I do love opening new presents. Oh, I think I heard a squeak. It's a lollipop. It's a rainbow ice lollipop. Look, Truffle, it's a lollipop. But you can't eat it, sweetie. It's not made of ice. It's a toy. What do you think of this? Oh, I don't think she likes the squeak. Ready, Truffle? Let's let her off and see if she likes this wonderful, colourful lollipop. Ready, Truffle? Ready? Steady and go! <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Truffles Toy Time. See you next time. Bye! <laughs> Hello everyone. Activity time again. I'm so excited today. And considering little Truffle received a lovely multicoloured lollipop for her toy this week, I thought we might make some delicious lollipops together. So, and today, Terry Terrier is going to help me, aren't you? Don't you just love his little red hat? Oh, Terry, today we're matching, don't you know? <laughs> yes, and let's see what ingredients these beautiful lollipops are going to be made with. So let's move you over here children so you can see all our delicious ingredients. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So here is my wonderful big tray. So here is a pan and a sieve and my lovely mixing bowl some icing sugar, some lovely Greek coconut flavoured yoghurt and a yummy pack of raspberries and we have our wonderful magical unicorn lollipop makers. <laughs> And I have my very noisy whisk. We're going to make a raspberry puree. So you need 150 grams of raspberries, because of course, children, you will need a grown-up to help you with these yummy lollipops. We have poured all our yummy raspberries into our pan. And then we're going to add, if I can find a spoon, children, <laughs> we're going to add Terry. Four tablespoons of icing sugar. So here we go. One, two, three, and four. Oh, very dusty. Yes. And I suppose that's the most unhealthy part of these lollies, unfortunately, the icing sugar. So we pour four spoons, one, two, three, four, of icing sugar into the pan with the raspberries. Now for the noisy bit, children. We're going to whisk the raspberries and the icing sugar together. So if we can just plug in this noisy whisk. Now, close your ears, children, because this is the noisy part. And now we need to sieve out all those little seeds. 
So, I have my lovely coconut bowl. This bowl is made from a coconut children. How amazing. And I have my pan of pureed raspberries. And this is a sieve. It has lots of little holes in it. So then little seeds all get stuck in here and we have a nice smooth raspberry puree. So, here we go. So, I'm going to put the sieve over the coconut bowl and pour in, I'll just get rid of that whisk. I'm going to pour in a little bit at a time of this lovely raspberry puree. There we go. And then if I use my spoon, which is also made out of a coconut, isn't that amazing? And if we do this, it'll hopefully push through all those seeds. If I show you, look, there's lots of little raspberry seeds there all the lovely raspberry puree and then we can discard the seeds so we have a nice smooth raspberry puree for our lovely lollipops there we go all the sieving done and now we just have a nice bowl of yummy raspberry puree children <laughs> and look here's little gromit Robin, raspberry, but you can't have any sweeten. These are for our lollipops. <laughs> so now we take our big blue mixing bowl and our lovely coconut Greek yogurt. Now you need 450 grams of this. And what we do now, we're going to open it. Mmm, coconut. Now, I love coconut, but if you don't, I'm sure you could just use vanilla or any other flavour that you might enjoy. And we're going to spoon in half of the 450 grams, so half of this tub, into my blue mixing bowl, like this. Oh, Ooh, look at that. It is so yummy. And then... I'll just put this lovely yoghurt to one side and so we have a lovely bowl mm, of creamy Greek coconut yoghurt and we're going to add two tablespoons of our lovely raspberry puree into the bowl and we're going to mix it children, mix it so it turns a lovely, lovely Pretty pink colour. Mmm, look at that. Wow. It's a lovely pink mixture. Mmm. Raspberry and coconut. Some of my favourite. And then, this is the exciting bit. Where the lovely lollipops all come together. So here I have my lovely unicorn lollipop makers and we're going to take each of the lids just pop them on there so I'm going to make one, two, three, four lovely lollipops so let's see so hopefully you can see that we're going to spoon in the lovely yogurty mixture between these yummy between these lollipops we're going to share it out grommet <laughs> oh it's grommet we're making rather a mess oh it's got all over that doesn't matter part of the fun. <laughs> Ooh. There we go. 
So now I have spooned that lovely yogurty and raspberry mixture into the four lollipop moulds. Yes, these are lollipop moulds. These are what you use to make yummy lollipops. What do you think, Romitla? Ooh, I'm not sure he's very keen. <laughs> so once we've spooned that mixture into the four, we then put the rest of the raspberry mixture in, just like so. Wow, yummy. <laughs> oh, these smell delicious, children. Whoa. Make sure we use every last bit. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We've now spooned in the raspberry puree mixture. And to finish them, we take back the rest of the yogurt and we spoon in the rest of the yogurt on top, just to top them up like so. Ooh, lovely. <laughs> yes. So now they're all topped up with yummy yogurt. And this, let me get my lovely tea towel. And then we put in, back in, the lollipop sticks into the top of each one. Just like so. Oh. Come on, Mr. Unicorn, you're being rather difficult. And the little last purple unicorn. How sweet are these lollipop makers? They're so sweet. Look. And now we have all our lovely lollipop mixture into the lollipops. And now I'm just going to pop those into the freezer to set ready to be eaten. Yes. I hope you enjoyed making those yummy delicious lollipops, eh, Grommy? <laughs> and of course, I have some that I made earlier. Ooh, let's give these yummy lollipops a try, shall we? Ooh. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. What beautiful colours. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. And it tastes rather good. Even if I do say so myself. Mmm. Oh, and do thank you for helping us today, Terry the Terrier. What do you think? Mm -hmm. I think he likes it. Thank you for joining us on this week's Activity Time. And do join us next time. Bye bye. Mmm. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Time for story time. It's once again time to sit down and relax for story time. And this time, we're going to look at fish. Yes, fish truffle. And we have Eddie Teddy with us, and of course, Rachel Rabbit. And don't forget, Disco Sausage Dog. Fish, almost all fish hatch from eggs laid by mother fish in water. When the eggs hatch, the babies are so small you can hardly see them. Some fish protect their eggs and babies, but others leave them to care for themselves. The fish in our picture are called carp. As they grow bigger, they become very colourful, just like their parents. Would you like to see eggs and babies turn into big carp? I'm sure you would, because I would. How exciting, children! Yes, and here we can see the little fish. You can hardly see them. And if we turn the magical kaleidoscope, we will see the little baby fish turn into the big, colourful carp. Wow! What splendid!
splendid fish. Look at them amazing colours. <laughs> 